U.S. health officials have approved a medication related well, to the Well, it's important for several reasons because ketamine a is a, a kind of a breakthrough medication, potentially. Uh, there are quite a few studies now that have shown that it works in depression. But it's not just that it works in depression, it works in a completely different way to all other antidepressants that we have to date. Most antidepressant medications uh, take weeks or a couple of months to work. It works in hours. Second, you know pretty much after the first or second dose of the medication whether or not it's going to help the patient. If they don't get better within the first couple of doses, they're not going to respond to the medication. So you have a quick answer. Um, um. The Food and Drug Administration on Tuesday cleared the inhalable drug for patients who have failed to find relief with older antidepressants. Is that the PET scan they put arterial line and stuff like that? The PET scan is a big stressor. Hopefully, what it'll mean for the patient is that the treatment will be carefully controlled by a psychiatrist or somebody who knows something about depression and can assess them and determine whether they need uh, how many treatments they need, how often they need the treatments, do they need one treatment, do they need two treatments a week for a while, where does other medication play a role. All of this will be improved thanks to the. Um, um, uh, approval of the um, esketamine. Um, on the other hand, we don't have a very good idea of the long-term safety of repeated administrations of ketamine. Um, and it does have a theoretical potential for abuse. Um, and so, um, you know, people vary as to how many doses they want to give and how conservative they are. Um, here, our view is that obviously you want to use the fewest doses that you can in order to get the best benefit for the patient, and you certainly want to have an. We, we believe we, you should have an end point. We're going to look at cytokine response, all in the context of the, the new drug from Johnson and Johnson acts on different brain chemicals than decades-old antidepressants like Prozac. When it works, the new drug takes effect almost instantly. An ETV Bharat